Question 18. An aircraft travels at a constant velocity of 90 meters per second in horizontal flight. So this is going to fly. Constant velocity is a very nice thing because I know that our object is in equilibrium or the net force is zero. Okay, motion will not change. Diagram shows horizontal forces acting on the aircraft. The mass of the aircraft is given. Okay, what is the power produced by the thrust force? You know what, whenever there's constant velocity, right? I can use the equation of power is equal to force times velocity. But means the net force is zero. Ayala, the net force is zero. Ma. But I want the power produced by the thrust force. So I would take thrust force, the engine's forward thrust force. Beautiful. So I'm going to use P equal to FV. But means we got the thrust force, meh? God. Constant velocity. Meaning the drag force pulling it backwards 2400. Then your thrust force will pull it forward by 2400 Newton. And the net force is zero because of this. 2400 here, 2400 here. That's why the net force is zero. That's why it can maintain the same speed. So I can now substitute my equation. The forward thrust is 2400 and the velocity is 90. So this then will be a beautiful 2.16 times 10 to the power of 5. Just B. Okay? So don't be alarmed too much about this kind of P equal to FV question. Okay, so for context, right, um, power is equal to force times velocity can only be used if the velocity is constant. Because the definition of power is rate of work done. So it's dW dt, rate of work done. Okay, so your W is equal to Fs, force times distance. So if I want to remove fs from my d dt, my f have to be constant. Okay, basic calculus, ds dt. And ds dt happens to be velocity. So this is fv. Because this ds dt is v. Right? So to use this, if you know the proof, then it's very instinctual because the force you bring out f constant. Okay, and just for completion sake, I write here, la, V is ds dt. So you want to use this equation, can, constant velocity. Why I put F here? P is equal to Fv. Okay, so ask yourself what power we are looking for. When they say trust force, that means this F you will substitute with trust force. In order to find trust force, uh, I know that thrust force is equal to drag force because the net force is zero. Forward force and backward force cancel each other. Then you need you can maintain constant velocity, ma. If the thrust force is bigger, then the plane will fly faster, lor. If the drag force is bigger, then the plane will slow. All right, so that's it. Pretty straightforward power question.